to create form click on create form and enter a form name click on this and you're inside the create area there are 13 different types of questions you can select from ranging from standard questions like two choice questions or multiple choice questions or more advanced question types such as signature file upload input table here you can add question text and description you can even make this into bold italic underline or add an hyperlink to add options you can paste your options here one on each line there are additional question settings for each question type such as multiple selection randomize there are other options as well like media where you can upload image or video and advanced settings is for visibility logic to show or hide specific question based on the answer selected for the previous question. To copy, move or delete question, go on to the edit. Here, you can copy question, you can move the question just by dragging them and you can also delete the question. To come out of the edit screen, just go on to stop. Click on design. You can add a logo to a form if you have a goal plan. You can change the appearance of your form by changing the color of the question text, description and buttons. You can upload your own background image or GIF or select an image from our gallery. To set notifications, click on the bell icon. Notifications let you quickly see new form responses by sending an email to author and respondent each time a response is submitted. You can also set conditional notifications. Example, if marketing option is selected in the form, then email should be sent to the marketing team, otherwise to operations team. To edit form settings, click on the settings icon. Here you can choose various settings such as one question mode at a time, which allows you to focus your attention on one question at a time in the center of the screen. You can also set submission deadline. You can also enable password protection for your form. You can also pre-populate your forms. Just click on the CSV file icon. Click on I for help. Download a sample CSV file. Please note the email in the first column is mandatory and should have unique values. So in the above sample CSV file, if maria at yourcompany.com login, then her name Maria will be pre-populated in the input field and you can also make it read only. If you don't want user Maria to edit this input field. Once you are ready, you can publish the form by clicking on publish and share form with any web user by just copying this link. Or you can also navigate to share section to distribute among your registered groups or users. Thank you for watching this video. To view submissions, go to the results tab. Now we inside the results tab. On the left hand side, you can see the date and time of the submissions. The web indicates that this submission is from an anonymous web link. The user indicates that this submission is from a registered formly user. To view individual submissions, just click on the date and time link and you can see the answer submitted in the response. To export submissions as PDF, HTML or CSV, select all, then you can export them as HTML, CSV or PDF format. This is the HTML export file with images and signatures submitted in the response. This is the PDF export file for each submissions. You can also view the submissions in graph format. To do so, click on the chart 
and go on view. Here you can see the graph report for each question. Thank you for watching this video. To share form, go to the share tab. Now we are inside the share tab. To share the form with non-registered users, copy the web link and share it via email or other social media channels. You can also copy the embed code and paste it into your website. Now to share form with registered users, the form author would automatically appear here. But if you want to share form with additional registered users, user account need to be created first. For that, you need to go to upgrade. Add the number of users you want to register first and make the necessary payments. Now go to the users and download the sample CSV file here. Here the email address in the first column is mandatory. Now you can upload the CSV file to register the respondents under your account. You can create groups and add users in the group. Now you can share form with specific individual users or groups. Just select them and click share. The forms have been shared with the respondents now. Form author can now access the form as respondent by going onto the main screen and switching it to respondent mode. The form is available to the respondent now. Thank you for watching this video.